Okay, hello, welcome, Paltas Error Instruments. We have here the candy reactor, yes. And the name is because it's full of colors, the patch bay, the knobs, and it's a kind of reactor. It's an instrument, but also just a thing for in your house. You can uh, give some pulses and just let it go how it goes. There are some questions about this thing, how it works and these kind of things. And I can do a small demonstration uh, because uh, there's already online some movies, but uh, the patch bay, the big ones that you see over here, it's first of all, it's made in a box uh, from the early days. So it's solid, heavy metal stuff. It has uh, four switches over here that uh, change in the patch different functions. It has uh, five potential meters uh, and also two for the effect. Uh, the effect has also some switch for different things. Um, why there are jacks in here? This is the output of the synthesizer. This is the input of the effect processor and this is the output of the effect processor. So you can use this also external. You can put a guitar in here if you go from big to small jack or you go any other device like your Volcas or other things. Korg, you can put it in there. Okay, um, more information. So this is quite clear. So you need three output, output, input. Yes. Um, if you have the patch bay, these big things are outputs. So the first row. The smaller one are inputs. The colors has different functions of the sound and the presets. And it's a little bit about finding sweet spots and just let it go. This function has, uh, this, this button has function on the meter. So if I turn this, it goes louder. And if I turn it all the way, the LEDs will start blinking. Does this has influence on the sound? Yes, uh, it has on the patch. I will show you later. Well, I can show you now anyway. Let's listen. So you hear some difference when I turn it on. Somewhere later it comes like more FM sound and more uh, weirdness. I will just play a little bit around. You hear now a patch. That is a mixed patch of different things. So that's why it's a kind of complex, but let's listen. <laughs> Here is the feedback and here's the timer. So as you hear The switch here is for a bit crush kind of delay and uh, in the middle it's on the normal side so it has three things it goes down it has some looper and and it must be in the middle then you have the ma nicest effects if you put it up the bit crush is also quite nice let's listen During the bit crush, you can also play with these knobs.
possibilities uh, this is just the on off uh, switch and um, yes you can make a lot of uh, patches it does really a lot of different sounds in there as you hear um, it's a uh, yeah it's it's it runs on uh, nine volts uh, it can also have seven volts uh, uh, it can even have 12 volt but yeah it's like uh, it's like different, it's like different, a uh, li little bit different sound then. So the most stable is between seven and nine volts. Yes, let's keep it like this. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have questions, you can contact us. Uh, we make only three of this, but we kind of use this kind of engine in more boxes. Uh, this is really solid as hell. This drilling in this metal of the early days, like 60s, 50s it's like the steel was so ch quality uh, <laughs> it was really strong it's like a tank okay thank you for watching and have a very nice day don't forget to subscribe bye bye